Call to order the meeting of March 16th for the Finance Committee. Obviously, it's been properly posted. And uh, attendees? Oh, yes, let's take attendance. Um, Terry Barris? Here. Alan Alexandrovich is here. And Jennifer, you're? Jennifer Lovell. Yeah. Library director, I'm here. Oh, I didn't know if we normally call you for. No, that. you don't. Okay. Okay, we have no visitors, and look at the minutes from the November second meeting. And are there any changes to these minutes? Where do we have the minutes for the finance meeting? Uh, Is that this oh, year? Yeah, it's right. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> I think Denise Gilbert was at this one. No, no, she, she so I'm was. striking that. Okay, where is it? Hey, right in the also attended. Yeah, I think I left that in from the might last have been a carryover from oh. the previous <laughs> one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve as amended. Second, all in favor, aye, aye. Opposed? Then, then, next item is of business is discussion of the 2024 preliminary library budget and strategy. Jennifer? Yes. Why? Yes. Why behind that do we have a July? That's because I was explaining to Mike, that's because when we were talking about things that the building and grounds had recommended. These are the meetings where the buildings and grounds recommended certain. Okay, but from the finance. No, but this is, it? it's, this is just um, for information for you guys. Okay. So you can see and what they you, look recommended. At the very, yeah. past page, that's probably the one that we want to focus on. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right so if we're talking about 2023, we're already looking at. Yeah. Now, if, is there anything in here like parking lot? Now, if, is there anything in here like parking lot asphalt, parking lot concrete, where we know that those numbers are not real? Yeah, parking lot asphalt is just a ballpark. And is that something that is going to be on us, or is that we're still figuring out who's going to pay for it? If, are we going to pay for it all by ourselves? Who's going to pay for it? If, are we going to pay for it all by ourselves, or is there going to be a combined us in the city? Yeah, I think we're they're still figuring that out, but it should be the city. Do we happen? To, do they have a date when they're going to have this decision made? Because that's probably the thing is we're always got a moving target, and, and we're trying to make decisions or make plans, and, and we don't. We they're they're putting <clears throat> it out to bid. Okay. So, the last communique I got from Tyler over at the engineering department was that it was going to be going out to bid. Um, I believe he said in, in March, so it should be. I mean, the mayor is, is up, but he's kind of the head, the president of Franklin who directs things and puts priorities out there. Um, if he's not reelected, do we see priorities changing? Do we have any idea? Has anybody talked to, who is it, John Nelson? District? I think I Maria no, does, actually. I have no idea where um, he was. But I, I get the, the postcards in the mail, and I read through those, uh, what he said, but nothing that seemed to talk budget. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, but, I'm sure some priorities will be shifted. Okay, because mm -hmm. with all the years that you've seen, and that was something I was thinking about, you know, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe we're going to wind up paying for the parking lot, because uh, uh, there's a change at, at the top. Yeah. Right now, we think... <laughs> Steve Olson is saying, we'll take care of that at the city level. Well, this also goes to those 
public precedent of other capital uh, projects. Right. How are those, you know, how are those budgeted? I mean, it's one. Th I mean, I thought that. Yeah, and in the lack of stability at the city, where we meet with Denise Gilbert and then she's gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. As opposed to having an ongoing with Denise Gilbert and then she's gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. As opposed to having an ongoing relationship with somebody, where now you can have communications and you can talk about what's going on, and oh, we'd like to meet again to talk about whatever it is, and then now you have to go ahead and start over. That, mm -hmm. That's that's been kind kind of the. M.O. for Franklin, to be honest with you, All right? Is the, that lack of stability and that in that uh, we're talking about financial direction or economic development or just you know we would like to know you know we understand that everybody has you know a fixed amount of funds in order to do things, but now. Should we spend some time today talking about those things that would be totally on us and say, okay, this is stuff coming out of 2023, so let's just go ahead and earmark when those things are going to happen, like computers, go ahead and earmark when those things are going to happen, like computers and furniture and the security system? You know, can we put, can we put dates on any of those for this year and then talk about, you know, 2024, does that still look solid? Maybe that's a good use of the time today. That's a good use of the time today. So what do you think, yeah. Jennifer, for the stuff for 2023? The, I mean, general furniture and fixtures, that's done. Security system, that's a priority. Okay, so the furniture and fixtures is done. Okay. Computers is partially. Okay, so the furniture and fixtures is done. Okay. Computers is partially done. When is that going to be finished? Well, I mean, we've bought laptops for staff and laptops for public but if there's anything else that comes up i see you know that could be done <clears throat> october it could be done done in december but um okay and what did you say about the security system well that's a priority priority but uh, for a, a date do we do we have any well, yes I, I, we have the we have the the it guy mm -hmm. Saying that it's not going to get done by June, but his okay. plan is to get it done this year. Okay, and then how does that, does that, is that $25,000 number, is that a good number for us? Is that what our responsibility is going to be? Yeah, I, you know, if we were doing cable, I guess if we were doing cabling over here, it would be quite a bit more. Doing cable, I guess if we were doing cabling over here, it would be quite a bit more expensive, but it looks like the city's going to house the, the unit. Okay. And we'll just have cameras here. So okay. once so we'd be working off of them, it would be like being in the cloud. Mm -hmm. okay. So once once I, I've toured the building with three security, I, I've toured the building with three security companies now. Once they find that out, they're like, "Oh yeah, twenty five thousand will give you. That'll give you some cameras to work with." Those are um, some pretty expensive cameras, don't yeah. you think? <laughs> there are. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. But they have, you know, consider, they considering when we were putting in things like that, you know, I mean, that, <clears throat> that was a lot of hardware. Cameras is not $25,000 worth. No, but connecting to the to City Hall. But, this, but the number that we're, yeah, connecting to City Hall and just the sheer number of cameras that we'll have, interior and exterior. Is there going to be an ongoing cost on the security side, or once we do this, then we're done? Be an ongoing, some kind of. Kind of, kind of like what we have with stuff with McFlitz, where you right. know every year there's there's a certain cost that's going to be and maintenance costs. Maintenance, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I imagine there will be um, also the thing to think about too, which is not on here. Um, cameras, like it will be a, a flexible system. So Jim said, next year we can add on. So we might not get all the cameras we want right away. We can add, you know, we put the ones, the important ones in, mm -hmm. and then add as we can, like every year, just have like. Do you think that the $25,000 this year would be the stuff that we would do this year, or is that the anticipation for the whole package? That's the anticipation of what we would do this year to get okay. us started. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so I imagine that there's probably going to be 
But we don't have any quotes to engage anything by. Okay. Um, yeah. And then we don't know about the parking lot, but the concrete is definitely our baby. I mean, the, yeah. The concrete will be our responsibility. Is that a before or after? The concrete will be our responsibility. Is that a before or after the parking lot? Well, it's not. It could be either. And when we're talking about <clears throat> the, the concrete, mm -hmm. is that like the curbing? No, that's included in the parking lot. So like the, the slabs that we have that are off kilter a little bit close to the building. I need to get those fixed because okay, we so actually it's, have it's, had people it's step on away them. from the roadway. Okay, but on the parking lot side, is that why it says parking lot concrete? Um, but my understanding was that would be our responsibility and the parking lot would be the city's. Now that was Peggy talking. Okay. So. Now are the yeah. slabs, we, we fix those because where you walk on them or are there slabs where they're pitched towards the building and then we have a water issue? What's, or are there slabs where they're pitched towards the building and then we have a water issue? What's, they're not, no, they're not um, pitched towards the building. They're actually... To so is it a trip hazard? Is it is that a trip hazard. It? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we could do that anytime. Right. So we should make that a priority. So maybe I should make another category that's parking lot, not parking lot concrete, but just sidewalk concrete. Okay. And get some kind of idea from Bob Tesh or Tyler. I just don't want people tripping. Mm -hmm. Um, this is not including the patio. Okay, so for if we're talking about the patio, if we're talking about the patio, and I know that even Christine was throwing out ideas and stuff like that, do, do, we, do we need to have a buildings and grounds kind of plan for what the patio area should be like before we move on anything? Because I know I use my patio because I know I use my patio at home a lot. I don't know how much this patio gets used at all. In the summertime, quite a bit. Now you've got programming that you do out there, right? Mm -hmm. So that might be something also where uh, do we think that it's a situation where we would want to to accommodate outdoor stuff? I'm just you know asking because yeah. if you're good, if we're, if stuff is going to be redone as opposed to just, let's say, mud jacking, mm -hmm. but we're gonna like redo an area, then that would probably be a consideration. I would think is like, how would, how would that space be used? And should, be, should it look like this? Should it be this size? Well, we're moving those big concrete <coughs> flower, those big concrete yeah. things off. Um, and then Maria, when we did the, when we looked at the patio with Peggy, mm -hmm. We talked about removing that fence because once you remove that, we talked about removing that fence because once you remove that yeah. rack fence, yeah, you got room to spread out into the grass. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, expanding it would be hard though. That those two planters that are there are pretty much there, so the Eagle Scout put them in, and that are there are pretty much there, so the Eagle Scout put them in, and they're. They're there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd have to remove them to mm -hmm. expand the patio mm -hmm. or pour around, which would be really hard. Mm -hmm. Now you're saying they're there. Is it because of weight or that they are yeah. anchored to the they're patio? Anchored. They are, I thought to the they're patio. anchored. They are anchored. They are. I thought they were just loose. <laughs> like It was like trying to move one a little bit. Since we don't live in an earthquake zone, you figure it's, once, once it's down, it's... Like my father-in-law, when, when he would duct tape a box... You would think it's like th this thing will survive Armageddon. He's got so much duct tape on it. Well, I mean, at some point it's just like, okay, it ain't moving. <laughs> Not only is it heavy by itself, but it's got all this dirt in it, right? So where's it going to go? But I suppose. Yeah, these things. I think he mortared the, or he somehow those 
pavers or whatever they, the stackable things yeah, yeah. are like, you're not wanting to okay. part. <laughs> so, you know, that would be a question. Building grounds is coming through on April 6th. I can certainly put them to the task of coming up. Patios. Just if there's anything that, you know, is being thought about before you do something, you go, oh, I wish we would have. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind the gate being gone. Yeah. It's only, I'm not sure what kind of purpose it serves, other than a visual barrier. But it's not. It's not a security gate. You can yeah. climb right over it. Sure. Um, it gets in the way. Gone would make a huge difference. Yeah. Okay. Um, Are we going to move forward into other years on yeah. capital? Yeah, because I'm going to have to put capital requests in. Mm -hmm. For these numbers here, we can even talk about other options too, because one thing that I bring up a lot is that we have. Um, sizable amounts of money in donation accounts that aren't tagged towards anything. So if you can grab 10000 here and 10000 there in order to get some things done, and it doesn't affect us here and 10000 there in order to get some things done, and it doesn't affect the budget, but it's money that was earmarked for the library, use it. You know, and then it puts a little less burden on the foundation, less burden on our budget. So the capital improvement plan is a five-year projection. So like this year, we would be adding on 2028. So, um, so just looking at that role for computers that are going to be replaced, mm -hmm. how many computers do we have altogether? Staff and public, yeah, probably 50. We should have a plan. Alan, you can probably help with this, you know, if, if, and I don't know how we help with this, you know, if, if, and I don't know how we do it or how the city does it, where, you know, everything has a useful life. And you usually say, okay, we're going to purchase it, and until its useful life is gone, you don't replace it. Now, how does it work with computers? Is that a different ball game? Because it's not just a matter of like wear and tear. It's not just a matter of like wear and tear, but it's more a matter of, well, you know what? We, we've got something, and, and now three years later, there's something better. Yeah. One month later, there's something better. Yeah. yeah. But is, there anything, is there anything, something on the accounting side that says you treat computers differently than you would treat? Accounting side, you're more concerned about what you're spending, when you're spending it. And the computer people are the ones who come back to you and say, yes, we have these, and they're functional, but they're not really very good. Mm -hmm. And if anything breaks down, the person who gets the new computer is suddenly so computer is suddenly so much faster than anybody else. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so that they will, after three, four years, just replace. Mm -hmm. But that, that's kind of an IT discussion okay and and maybe that's something that goes back to him and, okay and and maybe that's something that goes back to him and say okay you know what from from an IT perspective for the city what do you see and we just kind of follow best practice yeah and you know uh, there's the practical side right find some place where they they meet and you say okay it's Practical and financially yeah. uh, advantageous to do these things at that time, um, especially if we're looking forward. If if, we, if those numbers can be made more real, let's say we have about fifty computers, and we know that these five are going to go out in twenty twenty four. What's it going to cost to replace those five in twenty twenty four? And that's the number we put there. I mean, that's what we do. We yeah. have a tech inventory, and okay. we, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We get about five years out of a computer, or try to get four to five years. We do. Mm -hmm. We get about five years out of a computer, or try to get four to five years out of a computer. Okay. And then we rotate. Um, so that you might you less... might take a computer from one place and put it in another place, mm -hmm. so it still has some useful life, but we'll put it mm -hmm. someplace where maybe 
these people need something a little bit faster, not yeah. so much over here. We know okay. them. We know the employees. It used to be me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's nice to delegate, doesn't it? Sam and I are working on it together. Okay. So we do have a tech inventory. We we feel like we're actually really quite strong with the computer side of it. We. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, you know, looking at 2028, my guess would be computer costs would go up because at that point our server would be six, seven years old. So, um, I even think 2024 could probably go down to. Um, I even think 2024 could probably go down to 7,500 instead of. I have 10,000 as a placeholder, but. Okay. And then um, 2028 would be 10,000. So I would put in a capital. All right, so I'll switch this to 7,500 and 2028. All right, so I'll switch this to 7,500 and 2028. Okay, the, this conversation is leaving the budget yeah. substantially. Okay. I mean, 2028 is not anything that we're budgeting for right now. Yeah. We, we should be looking at 24, maybe 25. We, we should be looking at 24, maybe 25. So, and I'd like to set this aside. Okay. okay. Uh, do we need, you also gave us a staffing report. I did this today. So, it, was, it looks really fresh. It does. It's hot off the press. So everything you see in 2023 wage rate, wage rate, that's paid. Mm -hmm. Projected is just adding on a 2% cost of living increase because that seems to be pretty much what Franklin does. Okay. Okay, um, that's that note on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And <clears> then <throat> there's the progress to market. So a lot of us are getting closer to where they so a lot of us are getting closer to where they want us, so we'll get less and less of a progress to market. Yeah. So um, this is just a ballpark again. I just added 2% onto what was budgeted this year. Mm -hmm. where's, where's the project for market? Down at the bottom, progress, full-time progress, progress full-time progress to market, and part-time progress to oh, market. Oh, okay. Um, so this is suggested additional cost over and above what we have in the 2024 rate? Probably. Well, it should be. He will, but what you did here was just 2% Right, here. this is just straight 2%. And so if we look at the total for 2024. Yeah, that 905072. That includes everything. That includes everything. Includes everything. And what was the total for 2023? Or do we have to go um, to the budget itself and just look at wages? Yeah. Okay, 2023, that would be the 846,000. That would be the 846,000. On your, yeah. Well, I was looking because you can because you combine the salaries, the holiday pay, the vacation pay. Yeah, and that's not included in the nine hundred five. Um, okay. So it would be salaries, full time salaries, part time. Not sure why we have attempt salaries, but I think they put that's where they might put the intern. Okay. Um, overtime salaries, we never have. Holiday pay, vacation pay. That's what's included well, in this 905. While you're talking about vacation pay, the budget here, the amended 2023 budget, is $20,734. 2022 actual was 53355 And on this spreadsheet that I put together, that I And on this spreadsheet that I put together that I gave everybody that yeah. had years and years and years of stuff, the column... One, two, third column over is a four-year average. Yeah. 
And if we look at vacation pay in the a four year average, it was 37340 And took a lot of time around Christmas. If you take the time right after January 1, more than likely January gets hit harder or that next year. And it wouldn't be. So 53 looks too high. 20,734 looks way too low because we were averaging. I think we have to look at 24 and beyond to get a better number. But because these are numbers that are given to us by the city, we really can't do anything about these, can we? No. I mean, we can mention it to somebody if somebody were there. Yeah. Mention it to somebody if somebody were there. Yeah. Well, Tom's there. Um, He's the account, uh, city accountant, or head of accountant supervisor, I think is his title. Okay. So I can ask him why the four-year four year average from 2016 to 2019 was 37340 but yet we spent, or yeah, 53 was what we had last year. And we're budgeting only 20700 for vacation pay, right? Yeah, for vac just <clears throat> for vacation. Twenty twenty three. Seven thirty four. Doesn't make any sense to me. Well, then that affects all the numbers going forward too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. And what I'm hoping beyond hope is that the person who was typing in this number did a two instead of a five or a three year. Did a two instead of a five or a three year. You know, mm -hmm. could be I punched something in wrong, but I I always check to make sure that the the subtotals are staying the same. So mm -hmm. I would hope not. Well, I can definitely ask Tom about that. Okay. So I can definitely ask Tom about that. Okay. So I need to ask. And any one of these numbers on the page that you printed out that I had the percentage next to it in pink, that was something that told me that this number doesn't look right. So like the minus 61.1? It's showing that the, the change in vacation pay is coming down 61%. Kind of unlikely. That's weird. And then group health coming down 6.3. A retiree group health and group health dental coming down. I don't know where anybody's saving money in health insurance. That, that's just climbing year after year. So the pink the pink items are the ones you'd like me to ask Tom about? Yes. Okay. And in some cases like telephone? Really? Well twenty eight yeah. percent. And in some cases like telephone? Really? Well twenty eight yeah. percent. Who cares? That's yeah. Equipment rental? Who knows what we're gonna rent? Right. Natural gas coming down eighteen percent. Unlikely. Janitorial percent? Unlikely. Janitorial supplies? I don't know. Janitorial supplies, yes, because the um, company that we're contracting with will provide their own cleaners. Okay. That's, gonna that's a possibility. Over time, that's just going to kind of go away. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I'm trying to figure, yeah, I don't know if I get this, but I'll have to look it over. That's why I can't do a better job because right now when we do the calculation for 24, it's a percentage adjustment from 23. And if we're off on 23, Three, it's going to be, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. keep mm -hmm. flowing. Well, and if those numbers that are small are actually bigger, this red number is going to be bigger too. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I don't really ever... I mean, I kind of, I look over the list of employees that he sends me and make sure that everybody is still here. Mm hmm Still, everybody is still here. Mm hmm Still number of hours. And I send that back to him, and then he does the calculations for personnel. Okay. And then... 
So you figure staffing plan for 2024 is going to look a lot. No more change in numbers, no shifting of from like one position to another, or getting rid of one. So. No, I mean, we did try this year to go to use a library clerk instead of a library assistant, but that just didn't. We had too many times when we'd have vacation where we actually were close to having to close the library because we didn't have enough people in the building. Really? That clerk idea looked like such a good thing. It did. But they can only be in the, they're not really a in the front library. desk person. Yeah. They're, they're working in the back. That's why they're clerks. That's why they make a little bit less. Mm -hmm. they're, they're working in the back. That's why they're clerks. That's why they make a little bit less. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if anybody else saw anything. I'm still projecting utilities go up in 2024, another 10%. Good news is so far in 2023, we're down with natural gas. Natural gas has been behaving nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm asking anybody to turn, turn the thermostat down to zero and, you know, wear sweaters and stuff like that. You can do that at home, but... A little harder in a big building like this. Well, you got really high ceilings too. You know, we don't have anything to take that warm air that goes up and bring it back down. Mm -hmm. Take that warm air that goes up and bring it back down. Mm -hmm. you know, that that might have been a flaw in the design of this place. Is, is that you got those high ceilings? Is that what are you doing in the winter time to reverse those fans and get that warm air pushed mm -hmm. back down? So you get number one, you get some air movement. Number two. You know, you're you're not having to heat as much because you much because you don't constantly have that heat loss, or you're constantly pushing the warm air all the way up to the ceiling. Yeah. Except that, that the way we heat is the hot air comes from the ceiling and is being blown down. It's not, it's not coming in at the, mm -hmm. at the baseboard, so mm -hmm. that probably offsets yeah. a little bit of the heat. Will tend to hang up there. That's true. Yeah. Well, you do see in a lot of places especially new ones where they've got the fans up there mm -hmm. high up in the ceiling, just slowly rotating. Oh, like in the old movies. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so I can I'll ask Tom about the vacation pay in the pink highlighted columns. Yeah. And like we said about the telephone, you know, really coming down twenty eight percent I doubt it. But it's Four hundred eighty dollars. Who cares? It's well, four hundred eighty dollars. Who cares? It's well, not. yeah, that's our mandate. That's our mandated nine one one telephone. Yeah, but we know what that is specifically every month, right? Well, it went up. It did go up. It did, but we know what it is. Yeah. So we we're talking about. <clears throat> especially with staffing being the largest part of the budget if that's going to be yep. relatively stable that's a good sign now is there anything else besides what we talked about with the, the capital things where um, it would be a, a significant enough of a thing to to talk about where um, there's either something new coming in or or whatever where let's just figure out money's gonna come from it. While we're back into money's gonna come from it. While we're back into capital, uh, library materials on the mm -hmm. capital budget are like ten thousand dollars or forty thousand or something. That's this year. Mm -hmm. Well, except that that's this year. Mm -hmm. Well, except that last year what we spent on library materials was 85000 And in the budget we've got 87125 But that's count. That's also counting Fund 16? No, this is Fund 15. That's L15. This is Fund 15. That's L15. This is L15. Yep. So, they're not, they're not so if you look at the very last page, you got 85 85 for this year, and then 87 for 2024. And, and rising, and yet on 
this draft of the capital library material thirty. Yeah. And I'm disconnected there. Well, that was because Peggy mentioned that we should use fund to bring the fund balance down. We could use it on library materials. Oh, so what she's what she's saying is. 40, 30, 30, 30, 30, and... These are just my numbers, but she said... Right. But whatever yeah. we spend over and above that, we could use that to bring fund balance up. Now, the fund balance coming down, is that a Steve Olson thing, that there's a potential that's going to go away with a John Nelson? Olson thing, that there's a potential that's going to go away with a John Nelson? I mean, it, and th yeah. that's what I was bringing up, some of that yeah. stuff. There are things that are just going to change. Yeah, the fund balance thing actually, I think, was more a city administrator. Oh, okay. So it's because Mark Liberta, you know, he's like, yeah, I know your fund balance is high, but I'm older, and you're going to need money. So to he could he could see down the future that this is this isn't something that's going to keep growing forever without any being touched, right? Yeah. So his philosophy was a little different when Peggy came on board. She was like, why would we let you have fun balance and then have the city go out and borrow for well if we knew what the city was going to pay for half the time it would be an easier conversation too because mm -hmm. you know right now it's like okay you know that where's the line this this stuff is yours and this stuff is ours the unfortunate thing before peggy left she was doing a fun balance analysis of the library before peggy left she was doing a fun balance analysis of the library and we were supposed to be meeting her, I was supposed to be meeting with her and the mayor Yeah. Um, to go over it, and that didn't happen because she left. What was going to be part of that conversation? Who would probably was paying for the parking lot. Would that be a bad idea to... Contact the mayor? To, to still have that conversation, yeah. yeah. Even if it's just with Steve. Yeah. I would almost rather have an agreement with the prior administration. Well, this yeah. is this is what was agreed between the library and the city. Take personalities out, right? This is what was agreed between the city's going to pay for this. We're going to pay for that, right? So now you're going to go ahead and change it. You know, I don't want to arm wrestle over it, but you know, we have to know city is it coming out of fund balance? You know, we're kind of going blind here. Yeah. Well, I was. I mean, originally. I was told that it would be paid for by the city because it was the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would but, be a city responsibility. But these are, again, arbitrary decisions that somebody could say, no, you're going to have to pay for it because you got too much fund balance. We do want to process. What is it? If, if it's within these four walls, it's ours. Outside of these four walls, it's yours. But what is it? Because although we have the building, uh, the library never paid for it. The city did. We're not paying rent, but if we paid rent, and I mean, you know, yeah, you just moving. so we're managing the operation and the care and feeding of the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and how do we define that? And then once we have a definition, it should be relatively simple to mm -hmm. figure out mm -hmm. who's paying for what. Yeah, and also from a management standpoint, right? You know where the boundaries are, so it's like okay, I, yeah. I'm it's like okay, I, yeah. I know I'm responsible for this, so I'm going to make sure this is in good shape. It's somebody else's responsibility, so if things are not that great, you, you call them and then they handle it. Right. Exactly. So like the curbs. We're on right. the line for 9,000. It's 9,000 is going to break the curbs. We're on right. the line for 9,000. It's 9,000 is going to break us. But see, that's not falling in the definition that I would have defined it. Mm -hmm. And certainly have a meeting with Mayor Olson. Good, but I'm betting he's pretty busy right now. A little. Just a little. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. They're, the city administrator position is still posted, and so is the finance director position. And people are still hard to find. But, I mean, if I, especially if I go over, you know, it just can be just a half-hour meeting. It doesn't have to be a long meeting. Exactly. Yeah. Just 
Tell them that we're looking ahead of next year's budget, and we're you know we're already tell them that we're looking ahead of next year's budget, and we're you know we're already doing our pre-planning for the budget. And yeah. Need to know what's well, and and just put it on the table and say we know you've always had a concern about the the size of the of the fund balance. We have a concern of more based on what we think that they ought to pay for. Can we come to some type of an agreement as to where the line gets drawn, you know, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take care of stuff that we should take care of. Mm -hmm. But then that needs to come before the, you know, the board, the whole board here, and, you know, we talk about that and say, okay, based on the conversation that's been put out there, nobody makes any promises, but we just kind of have to have an understanding of where people are leaning, maybe. And although we present a budget, the aldermen and, and the mayor, they had big changes and passed what they passed. Or passed what they passed. Or, well, I suppose any department budget is the same problem. Yeah. Because that's what, which is, I guess, what we're like. Well, I think we've been good stewards of I the money that they give yeah. us, too. So, I mean, that you have to throw that into the equation and say, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not like we're poor manager's equation and say, you know, it, it's not like we're poor managers of it by any means. Yeah, there are many complaints. Serious that I can think of. You know, we always bring good people on the board. You know, whenever people come off, there's always you know, people, good people. You know, whenever people come off, there's always you know, people, good people stay on or new people come on that are good. I, you know, this is everybody who comes and says this is probably one of the, one of the, the groups that they enjoy being part of, because you know we get things done, we cooperate. There's a lot of good to disagree, but you know, I don't even see that much disagreement, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, people have different ideas on things, but well, and that's we, what but, I mean. But, but we come together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This is a good point. Okay. So. Next steps for me is with Tom. Mm -hmm. yep. Meet with the mayor. Yes, do you still have my flow chart? Is, yes. is, that, is that relevant to, with that discussion with the mayor? It or? could be, I could show it to him. Well, if it's, if it's not relevant to get to a definition as to what we're gonna come up with, because I don't remember if that was uh, come up with, because I don't remember if that was Determining how far we could go with reducing the fund balance, or it really didn't define. Yeah, it didn't you know? We have that one document where it says once we get below a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's that's about. I would show that to him, and he would show that to him in case he hasn't seen I think it. He knows. But I think he knows. Mm -hmm. But you know, if he does run us all the way down to the hundred thousand, then what happens when when, when we're doing a budget art? That top line mm -hmm. of what we get from the city. Is in one million three hundred seventy-four thousand. It might be one million eight hundred thousand. Right. I mean, because I have on that capital improvement plan, all the things in blue are the things that the city has in their five-year capital plan is replacing for us. Okay. But you never know if that's going to change, and then suddenly they say, "Well, that air-cooled air-cooled chiller that you're going to get in 2024, chiller that you're going to get in 2024." You're gonna to have to pay for that now. <laughs> or the two boilers for eighty thousand. You're gonna to have to take care of those. <laughs> now again, Peggy's gone, and I are I, you know. Now again, Peggy's gone, and I are I, you know. I'm not sure how this is gonna affect the IRS project. The not the Internal Revenue Service, the Industrial Roofing Service. Right. Why was she the main driver of that? I think she was, okay. yeah. But I'm sure the five year capital plan, I mean, she put that together based on information she got from IRS. So I'm sure that. Yeah, because they, they did a study, they on. looked at everything. They looked at everything, yeah. yeah. So staffing looks like it's going to stay the same pretty much for next year. So it's just going to be whatever increase 
gets done, both the 2% and the progress to market, mm -hmm. capital and the progress to market, mm -hmm. capital improvements are going to be like we have earmarked in there, with the exception of possibly something being taken care of by the city. Right. And otherwise, it's just going to be, you know, stay the course, huh? Yeah. Anyone have anything else they want to? Nope. Thanks for pulling all the. I have no nothing else to do. <laughs> thinking there. You got that thinking look on your face, Jennifer. I always have a thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm just worried about this 20734 for vacation pay. I'm not sure 734 for vacation pay. I'm not sure where that number would have come from. But... Just note it and Yeah. Because I'm sure we're going to see what's going on. Go over that. Well, we have the 20, 2023 budget, right? Yeah. So, can I bury that? <clears throat> so, we could go and check to see if uh, Fumble Fingers. But you being the Fumble Fingers yeah. or Tom being the. Okay. Good. Um, so, um, you're hoping that you. Okay. That I had hit something wrong, but it's entirely possible that Tom may have done that too. I'm not trying to place blame anywhere, just get it right. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. Get it right. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. One of the favorite things for one of my cats to do is when he sees I bring my laptop up and he hops on the chair because he wants to have screen time. <laughs> And he's either got his paw over here, or he's nibbling on my fingers while I'm trying to type here, or he's nibbling on my fingers while I'm trying to type. And you know, I, I have to constantly have my eyes on the screen so I don't accidentally end up with something that I had no idea that I wanted That's to true. do. You know, it's like Charlie. Okay, thanks. I, I saw something <laughs> where they're making videos now that you can play on your TV all look like you know a squirrel running around and they'll just they'll just watch it and so if your dog is barking or you're having company over you play that squirrel thing and the dog is glued to that it's not barking as people are coming in the house <laughs> I love it okay assuming I get my numbers and everything all from Tom and all from Tom and talk to the mayor when do we want to have another finance committee meeting um, well, first off, the meeting started with, let's be sure that we have a real need for one, okay? Uh, if we, if, you know, we met and we can bring things forward, uh, if we, if, you know, we met and we can bring things forward into the regular board meeting and say, we just, we just have a short thing out of your report, um, you know, we had conversations here and things look good. No, no conversation with the mayor. Good. No, no conversation with the mayor. Any, any of those types of things. Um, I would think that the only reason we'd want to get together is if there's something we need to make a decision on. Because the idea is to use your numbers to plug in. First, to plug in. That's what I did last year. Right. And, and if that plug saves in. you some work, I'm happy to. Well, it saves me I mean, thinking. I, I love playing with numbers. Yeah, because I can just plug in. I do tax returns, too. I can plug in the numbers you have in the 2024. Yeah. Budget is checking that vacation. And some of the so, other yeah, ones? Yeah, I mean, so maybe there is not a need to have, like, a pre, another. Not this early. Yeah. But once, we, once we do see what happens with the election and maybe... You know, read the tea leaves and find out what's like likely to be going going on in twenty twenty four as a result of you know whatever happens. You know, then we can kind of talk as a board about it. It's just like, okay, what would you like us to do? 
you know, we can come up with some suggestions. But. There were also some discussions about combining 15 and 16. There were also some discussions about combining 15 and 16 when Denise was around. And, and dropping, having just having one a don Having a donations fund and having everything else be all one. Yeah, that was that was a conversation. But, um, oh, that was a brainstorming thing? <laughs> that could be a possibility. It seems like we had a point. I have this recollection. It seemed, I had the impression as though it had moved along further than that. Because mm -hmm. there was no, you know, was is there any... Um, why, is there any advantage? It's just more work to have a separated accounts, really. Because we could just as easily roll those individual accounts into a fund 15 and call it fines and fees or whatever like that. And unless, it was, unless it was a matter of, unless it was, unless it was a matter of access to things. Or processing of things where fund 16 was more readily available than if you had to go through the city to get things out of fund 15 I don't know I'm just well the city that. doesn't really mm -hmm. the like budget is 100% set by right. the library board for that right. but I think like you brought up at the meeting where there was I don't remember what the account was but you said why did you put that in fund 16 and you said oh because it was available we could do it I mean so there's no hard and fast rules that this and only yeah and that's where it was talked about though is that that would be the, the probably want to separate those out a, yeah the, the, um you the, wouldn't that. want and if we're spending donations then those monies would come out of 16 as expenses well again it's a thing of mm -hmm. 16 as expenses well again it's a thing of mm -hmm. it's one thing if donations went into the foundation See, we're a, li we're a little bit different, too, is, is that nobody's donating to the police department or the fire department or the accounting department or the health department. I mean, it's like they donate to the library because it's, you know, you have the, you know, you have the, you have that thing that they do, and then you also have the, the nonprofit arm, you know, at the foundation. Well, the nice thing about having Fund 16, too, I'm thinking, remember, we did a budget amendment and pulled some money out of there to spend... Gary's collection, mm -hmm. Granny's. It'd be harder to do that if it was in the regular. Do you think? Well, just, yeah. Why? It'd be harder. As a, as a board, we can approve those six We move money all the time, yeah. yeah. When we get a new city administrator and finance director that would be well think about that i mean yeah i think the the thing that you're what talking about advantages? that i brought up last time was like i looked at fund 15 and fund 16 and i've got well i've got similar things in in both mm -hmm. places you know i well, i've got similar things in in both mm -hmm. places you know i you pull from one rather than the other and it's just as opposed to it's just the thing yeah right well technically Typically, we you know we pay for programming out of Fund 16 because those are our fines and fees that come in. Mm -hmm. we, but we could have a, a Fund 15 programming budget. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if it if if access if the way that you do it wouldn't make any difference, regardless of whether it was Fund 16 mm -hmm. or Fund 15, you would still do it the same way. Then we could probably talk about mm -hmm. you know making making life. Yeah. Probably save five minutes every board meeting because we don't have to move the five fund sixteen. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and every new member, we have to explain why there's a. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Why? What? What fund sixteen is and what sure. gets spent out yeah. of fund sixteen? Exactly. Why? What? What fund sixteen is and what sure. gets spent out yeah. of fund sixteen? Yeah. Yeah. The ancient origins of fund yeah. sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> well, just. I saw that on the yeah. History Channel. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Just having the city take over Fund 16 with the, fun, you know, taking the money over, it's a huge time well, saver in itself. Well, that was a huge time saver. So even, even doing the other thing. So uh, I don't have anything else to talk about yep. so here. We can, okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that.
All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting is adjourned.